Gue What is the richness of his glory? You hear that? Of, okay. of his mystery among the Gentiles. So now, the mystery, to not make known the mystery of Christ is, is knowing what is the richness of his glory. You hear that? But to know what is the richness of his glory. Not wealth. It's knowing the richness of the glory of God. It's knowing. It's knowing. So you got to know something. You have to know what is the mystery of the glory of God. Among the Gentiles. Read. Which is Christ in you. Mm -hmm. The all of glory. Oh God. So the mystery of the glory of God. Write this down. Is Christ in you. Which is the hope of glory. So the mystery of Christ Jesus is Christ in you, which is the uh, which is the uh, hope of glory. So what Christ is in you, Amen. There's a hope of glory. Hallelujah. Amen. So knowing the mystery of God's glory is knowing that Christ is in you because Christ is the mystery of the glory of God. As the Christ is the mystery of the glory of God. Who's the mystery of the glory of God? Jesus Christ is the mystery of the glory of God. That's why Paul says in 2 Corinthians 4, Paul says, Amen. God who commanded the light to shine, of shine out of darkness into our heart. He gave us the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ is the mystery of the glory of God. That's why Christ in you is the hope of glory. Christ in me is the hope of glory. Somebody shout amen. I say Christ in you is the hope of glory. Christ in me is the hope of glory. Glory be to God. Now, now, now we can have hope. We got hope now because Christ in me is the hope of glory. When Christ entered in you, he brings the hope of glory. What is hope? Hope is the anchor of my soul. It means my mind, my will, and my emotion is anchor in hope. Now, what is hope? Hope is a promise that, I'm, that Christ has made with the church. And I know according to the Bible, he meant that when Christ made a promise. He's faithful. He's faithful to perform. Amen. Oh, to bring the past. The promise that he's made with the church. You know, God, look at your neighbor. It's a neighbor. It's a neighbor. Look here. Christ in me is the hope of glory. Amen. That means we should not be walking with our head looking down. But you must start looking up. I said, Christ in me is the hope of glory. Even though sometimes you and I feel right, Remind yourself that Christ in you is the hope of glory. In spite of what you were through, Christ in you is still the hope of glory. Hallelujah. Watch you got Christ in you. Amen. You have hope. And a hope make it not a shame. Hallelujah. Because of the love of God is spread abroad by the Holy Ghost, which was given unto us. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Somebody say amen. Uh, God, give God praise and glory. Do you want more? I said, do you want more? Uh, it didn't stop there. Let's go to the book of Romans. Let's go to the book of Romans 16 and verse 25. Romans chapter 16 and verse 25. Boy, Paul had a revelation about Christ. I'm telling you, Paul really had the revelation of the mystery of Christ Jesus. Amen. Because now, amen, Paul is taking us in higher heights, in deeper depths, in understanding who God, the mystery of Christ. Amen. Amen means that Christ in you, church of the living God, is the hope of glory. Some say you're hopeless. If you're not Christ in you, you're not hopeless. The devil is a liar. You're hopeless, devil, because you didn't have no more chance. Amen. Hallelujah. You're going to hell. Yes, sir. The devil born in the lake of fire. The boy forever. Come on, somebody. And give Jesus praise. 
Go ahead. Romans 16, verse 25. Now to him. Now to him. him. That is of power to establish you according to the gospel. Huh? According to what? My gospel. Paul said, uh, according to his gospel. Read. And the preaching of Jesus Christ. And the preaching of Jesus Christ. And the what? Preaching of Jesus. Not preaching of oneself, but the preaching of Jesus Christ. Not preaching about cars, houses, and all that other stuff, but preaching of Jesus Christ. The preaching of Christ Jesus. Read. According to the revelation of the mystery. Ah, God Almighty, somebody shout. Paul said that. According to the revelation of the mystery. So a mystery is a revelation that the be is Christ. Hallelujah. And the revelation says Christ in you is the hope of glory. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. No wonder the Bible says, rise and shine. You are to rise and shine when you know Christ in you is the hope of glory. Glory be to God. I just love of Paul. Amen. Amen. I, I don't know if Paul was a good preacher, but Paul Shaw was a good teacher. Hallelujah. Paul could a teacher, and he teach with revelation, understanding. He reveals who Christ is. Hallelujah. And that's why I love to write the letter of Paul, the writing of Paul, because Paul explained. Amen. In detail. Hallelujah. As he explained Christ, who is Christ? In detail. Come on, somebody. Mm. Since the world began. This was a mystery yes. since the world began. But now Paul said, uh, but it's when it time with God. Uh, and now it's no longer a mystery to me. Uh, amen. I know who Christ is. Uh, I know who he is. It's no longer a mystery. And now I'm gonna teach. Uh, I'm gonna teach them. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, who Jesus Christ really is. Uh, hallelujah. Since of God, I want you to know uh, that sometimes God will hide himself uh, so you can seek him. Ah, uh, oh, God Almighty, you know what I said? Sometimes God will hide himself so you can get hungry enough to find him. Amen. Hallelujah. And when you find the news, amen, when you want to find God, you start praying and fasting and studying the word. Because the word of God, the word of the living God, reveals God. Hallelujah. Because his word is him and he is his word. They are one. And to know the mystery of Christ Jesus, it means to know, to reveal the revelation. It means to have the revelation of God. Hallelujah. Because Christ Jesus is God. Oh, God Almighty. As a Christ Jesus is God. And when you know, amen, when you know the mystery of your God, you will be strong. But the Bible says, they that know their God, not hear about him, but they who walk in revelation understand it about the power of their God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Shall do great exploit. Somebody wake up and say glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah now. Paul said this mystery was hidden. Yes. But now this mystery has been revealed. revealed. Mm -hmm. That which was hidden, now God revealed. That which was hidden from you and from many people, now God revealed it. He revealed the mystery that was once hidden. It was covered. Hallelujah. This is why, and let me just go out in the deep a little bit. Can I go in the deep a little bit? Yeah. Are you ready this way? Huh. This is why, in the book of Genesis, many people can, will not discover Christ in the book of Genesis. Because Christ was a mystery. Yes. God was a mystery. I mean, the, the Jesus Christ was a mystery in the book of Genesis, even though he was there. Amen. But until God reveal it to you, it becomes no more mystery. 
Because Jesus Christ who is the, the seed of the woman. Who will bruise the head of the serpent. That's Jesus. That's the Christ. That's the anointed one. Let's go. The first Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 7. Voice Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 7. Voice Corinthians 2, 7. Hallelujah. And if you have it, say amen. Voice Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 7. Go ahead. But we speak the wisdom of God in a but mystery. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. But we speak the wisdom of God in a what? Mystery. Now the mystery what? Is hidden truth. Oh, truth would have not yet been revealed. A mystery is hidden truth or truth which have not yet been revealed. So we speak the mystery of God. Amen. Even the hidden wisdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, now, what Paul is literally telling the, the church, he says we speak the, the, we speak the wisdom of God in the mystery. The wisdom of God in the mystery. Ah. Paul is saying, saints of the living God, that when you speak in tongue, you speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Ah. When you speak in tongue, you speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Somebody say amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. let the word of God enter in. You. Let the word of God, God enter in me. Don't allow the enemy to break your focus. Don't allow the enemy to break your focus. Nothing is more important than God's word. Hallelujah. Whatever is going on can wait. Whatever is going on can wait. Hallelujah. So just let me be. Don't bother me until I get God will wait. Hallelujah. Don't bother me and tell the word of God comes in me. Because only the word of God are guaranteed to bring a transformation and to bring a change in our life. And as long as the word of God don't enter in, there will be no change. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Change comes why? It comes from the word. He said the entrance of that word is given light and it given understanding unto the simple. The word of God can come in. Hallelujah. Do you know when the word of God is sowing, do you know the enemy also is moving? Yes, yes he's operating. You have to be smarter than the enemy. Because any time the word is given out, you can see how the enemy starts to move. Because he doesn't want you to receive the word. Especially something like this, knowing the mystery of Christ Jesus, which is the hope of glory. Nah, I don't want them to know that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring up things that really not so much important than God. And once their mind is off of God, and their mind is on saturation, and some of y'all in here, you will allow the enemy to move you like a yo-yo. Up and down, 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 up and down. You will never excel if you stay allowing the enemy to program you. When he wants you to move, he just breaks up there and you move. When he wants you to move, and he knows, he knows it, that it is happening all of it. You have to make up your mind and say, devil, you ain't going to get me this time. Devil, uh-uh, I will not fall for that this time. Hallelujah. Glory. Jesus. Some things, let me tell you something. Amen. Hallelujah. I remember many years when I shared with you. There was something happened, a crisis, and, and, and that Sunday, I had to preach. My wife was in the hospital. Her, 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 her grandmother passed away and she was hurt because they were really close. And I went to the hospital. My wife was so worried she was broken and then she ended up in the hospital. And I'm sitting there. And my mother-in-law, she was right there. She said, 
And my mother was saying, are you going to church? And I was pondering. I said, how can I go to church? And my wife was in the hospital. And the Lord said, go. And my mother was saying, yeah, go. My mother was saying, I, I, I'll stay here. And you go. Amen. And God said, you still have your responsibility. Yes, yeah. that's your wife. But I'm your God. Amen. 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 That's the true boy. That's your wife, but I'm your God. Yes. Hmm. And you must obey me. Amen. And I went there. And I preached. And I preached like nothing happened. And I preached and the power of God released. I was broken, but yet I was obedient to the word of God. I was not, I did not allow the enemy to distract me yes. that one bit. Yes. And after I told some of the things was going on, they said, I don't know what you did as a God grace. Yes. And after I finished preaching, I called out the call, we prayed. And when I went to the hospital, my wife sitting now. Yes. Amen. God forgive me. Amen. The power of God. Yes. The power of God. You cannot let the enemy distract you. Because when the enemy distracts you, that means he's up to something. You know that God is up to something great and he wants you to be distracted. So you will not walk in what God has prepared for you. Yes, Lord. He does. Thank you, Jesus. Look at your neighbor and neighbor. It can wait. It can wait. Yes, Lord. Say, don't bother me in the church when that is not important. Then the why they can win. Hallelujah. Don't that's disturb me. That's the truth. Because it doesn't matter whatever situation, I can need God to intervene on my behalf. And if I don't get the wisdom of God, I will know how to deal with that situation. Hallelujah. Jesus. can wait. You remember my on Sunday, my son got attacked in the back there. Yeah. yeah. He was worshiping, praising God. Yeah. And the ambulance came and it was about to take him in the ambulance. And I was outside and I was praying. And my wife said, You give me advice. Of course I gotta preach. Amen. And and my wife came in and I came in and I started preaching. Yeah. And I started preaching and my son come walking in. Amen. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. No. Right. No. no. Distraction. Yes. It's the Scorpio from doing what When you're about to get your breakthrough, here comes the here comes the spirit of distraction. Yes, 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 Lord. Thank you. Let you. It can wait. If it ain't got nothing to do with Jesus Christ, wait. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. This first. Yes, God. This is first, and anything else is second. My God, my God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Saints of God, you have to make up your mind that yeah. nothing come before God. Yeah. Not in your life, you are allowed to come before the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Satan knows that. Amen. If you know the mystery of Christ, which is the hope of glory, Christ in you wins the hope of glory. He knows that once your eyes of your, of your understanding is being enlightened, amen, he can't handle you no more. Amen. Hallelujah. You'll be going through the test and you'll be laughing. Hallelujah. I said, you're going through the test, you'll be laughing. Hallelujah. Give me God praise. And you're going through something, and some people looking from the outside, and they wonder what's wrong with you. Do you really understand that, 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 that you're suffering? Do you really understand that, amen, that you're being persecuted? But you, you, you don't allow persecution because you know Christ in you is the hope of glory. As long as Christ stay in you, you still have hope and glory. Amen. As long as Christ is with you, you know that everything is going to work together for your good. Somebody say amen. Amen. Yeah. Say the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. And the source of life. And the source of life. Everything you've been telling me. Everything you've been telling me. It's a lie. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? That everything that the devil was telling you is a lie. Hallelujah. It's to bring fear. It's to bring discouragement. It's a cause of give up and faith and say, God, where are you? And God is saying, I'm right here. I never leave you to mistake you. Hallelujah. But you get an attached to your situation and then your situation is pulling you from God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer is a mighty force. Mm. Prayer is a mighty weapon against the enemy. 
And also prayer, amen, is the vehicle that, amen, that carry out the assignment of God or the purpose and the will of God for your life. Amen. So when you pray, you literally, amen, come in agreement with God's will. Amen. His will has already been done. But eyes have not seen, neither hands have heard, neither have entered in the hearts of man. So you can't see it in the spirit, in the physical, but in the spiritual, you connect to his will by faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. How do we make it out? Do you know when you go to a test, amen, God don't tell you how long the test is going to be. He don't give you that information. No. Hallelujah. So you now you are praying that God will let shortcut and God say, I'm not a shortcut God. I don't give microwave blessing. Amen. If you want that going to the world, they give microwave blessing. Amen. You want to go to the process to get this. How do you have to be developed to get this? So when you get it, you gain value, and value will cost you to keep it. Yes. You hear what I say? Amen. When you have to suffer for somebody for something, and God bless you, you won't let no devil steal it. There's no way. You say, well, uh, That's right. I had to wait and suffer too long to let a thief come in and steal it. That's right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Come on, yes, come. Amen. Amen. Come on, preacher. You're preaching well. Amen. 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 Because sometimes the preacher need to bring his own way. Amen. Yes. Because sometimes people don't say amen. The preacher can say amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Good Lord. Hallelujah. Whether they say it or not, the preacher waits down. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 